Hi guys, the most common problem we face is the problem of money. Everyone around us work day and night hoping that they will earn more and more money and finally become rich to get everything they wish for. But you know what, that never happens. We end up living a life of middle class people with lots of dreams. But on the other hand, rich people are getting richer every day. They get a luxurious lifestyle, fulfill their dreams and achieve financial goals that are still dream for common people. But why does this happen? Do rich people have more time to work? Or is there any secret or shortcut to become rich? There is no shortcut to becoming rich. But the main reason why most people don't become rich is that they don't understand the rules of money. Yes, the rules of money. There are certain rules of money which need to be followed. Those who learn these rules, no one can stop them from becoming rich. Common people think that to earn more and more money, we need to work very hard and earn lots of money. But rich people don't do that. They don't work very hard like others, but still they make more money. It is because rich people master the rule of money. Their money works for them instead of them working for money. But what are these golden rules? There are 6 golden rules of money that only rich people know and in this video we will discuss them in simple language. Number 1. Keep a part of your earnings. When we receive our salary at the end of every month, we spend all our money in different things. The list includes basic needs and monthly bills to luxurious items that we dream of purchasing. By the end of the month, our wallet becomes empty. And this process continues till retirement. Because of this, people have to survive with very little savings after retirement. So the first rule of wealth is that, save a minimum of 10% of your earnings every month. No matter how little you earn, save 10% of your earnings first and then spend the remaining amount on your needs and wants. Let's assume you earn 20,000 rupees every month. You must save a minimum of 2,000 rupees every month from your earnings. By the end of every year, you will save 24,000 rupees, which is more than the salary of your one month. When this process continues for a long period, your 10% savings from every month will grow to lots of money. It does not mean that you should save 10% only. If you can save more, it is advisable to save even more, but make sure that your basic needs and wants get fulfilled. The second golden rule of money is, put your savings to work for you. Now that you started saving a minimum of 10% from your salaries every month, you can use this money to make more money. Most people leave their savings at the bank or home and use the money whenever there is an urgent need. This is the biggest mistake of the majority of people. Remember that the value of money get decreased every year because of inflation. You might have noticed your grandmother saying that things were much cheaper during their age compared to the present time. This is called inflation. And because of this, value of our money gets decreased every year. Rich people never save money. Instead of saving, they invest that money in companies and businesses. When we invest our money, our money also works for us because of compounding. And every year, it multiplies. If you want to know what compounding and inflations are, let me know in the comment section. I will make another video on that. Rich people let their money work for them by investing in different ways like investing in share market, funding a company or starting a business etc. Which let them multiply their savings amount very fast. So next time you save money from your salary, invest that money instead of keeping it in a bank. The third rule of wealth is avoid debt. When we need money in large amounts, for any reason, let it be to buy a new car, house, etc. The first thing that we do is, we get a loan from bank and pay them interest time to time. Nowadays, we can even purchase expensive things at EMI. This is not a very good idea to get things at loan or EMI. When we pay a small amount of interest on that money, we never notice how much extra we are paying. 
But if we calculate that small interest amount in the long run, we end up paying a lot extra. First of all, we should stay away from any such debt with a very high interest rate. Or even if there is no option, then it is advisable to clear your debt first and become debt free. Rich people always try to avoid paying high interest. Instead of that, they earn interest by investing their money in different sources. The fourth rule of wealth is, don't speculate in get-rich-quick schemes. Another very serious problem that comes while investing is that, in order to grow our money quickly, we end up investing it into some quick schemes without any proper knowledge. And because of that, people even lose huge amount of money. All the great investors in the world only invest in companies and businesses they understand. Take the example of Warren Buffett. He never invested in technology companies like Google, Amazon, etc. Because he did not understand their business model. We can say that he lost a good opportunity by not investing in these technology businesses. But as an investor, what he did was totally right. As he did not understood their business model, it could have been very difficult for him to hold the invested money for the longer run. So according to the fourth golden rule, we should invest only in solid businesses we understand very well and not in any random get rich quick scheme. But how will you understand which business is good for you to invest in and which one is not good enough? To understand that, you will have to follow the fifth rule of wealth, which is invest in yourself. This is the most important and basic need to grow your wealth. When we invest in our knowledge and skills, we can use them to make more and more money. Our skills will enrich the quality of work we do and help in getting promoted in work, which ultimately increases our paycheck. Considering you work on a company as a salesman, when you will learn a new skill or when you improve your selling skill by learning from various courses, books, etc., you will be able to get more sales in your job and finally end up getting promoted in the company. The same thing applies to business owners. They can expand their businesses more by improving their skills and knowledge. Your knowledge will help you to make better decisions with your investments as well. So it is very important to invest in upgrading our knowledge and skills from time to time as it increases our earning power. The sixth golden rule is diversification of wealth. There is a famous quote that says do not put all your eggs in one basket. There is no guarantee that the wealth we have today will be safe forever. We can never guarantee that the company or business we have chosen to invest our money will become successful and keep giving a good return on investment. There are chances that the company may fail because of certain reasons and we will lose all our money. To avoid this kind of situation, we should diversify our investments. We must not invest all our money in a single company or business, but instead we should invest in multiple sources. By doing that, if we lose money in one business or company, we will still recover that money from our other investments. Do follow these rules and for any doubts or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you and see you again in the next video.